Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how I made these simple sheer curtains which are perfect to give you the right amount of privacy but also just the right amount of light. For this project you will need curtain rod finials, an extending curtain pole, measuring tape, a rotary cutter which I didn't actually use, some scissors, matching thread and your fabric. For this project I actually glued my finials to the recess of the window but I have to let you know that you don't actually have to glue them in because as the rod extends it will sit nicely into the recess of your window because the extension will put pressure onto the finials and allow it to fit within the space that it has so glue is not necessary but it's just something that I chose to use. The good thing is even with the finials glued to the window you can still change the curtain to any type of curtain that you want because the extending rod will still come off quite easily. So what I did at this point is measure the window, the size of the window, so the height, the drop of the curtain, what I want the drop of the curtain to be, and then I also measured the width. And then what I've done with this fabric here is I've measured those measurements onto my fabric and I've actually gone and cut off the piece of fabric that I don't need on my curtain, which I actually could use as a tie back um, later on once the curtain is done. With this fabric, even though I did have a rotary cutter, I didn't actually use it because it's easy to, you've got to be careful obviously, but it's easy to sort of just rip across the whole length of the curtain without going in the wrong direction. So that was fine. So I ripped it up. Now what I'm going to do is take it over to my machine. So this is all the fabric I'm going to use. So the long side, the longest side, which I think is this way that's going to go across the top of the curtain so onto the actual fixture and then down this way is the drop of the curtain with my little fold that I want to have which I've also taken into account as I took the measurements I need to hem the curtain and because it's sheer fabric I'm gonna have to sew along the bottom of the hem just a little narrow straight stitch then what i'm going to do is press on the actual stitch line that i've just done once i've done that i am going to fold that over and just sew again right next to the fold and then that will create a nice thin hem which is not too obvious which which is what you don't want on a sheer fabric and then i'm going to do the same with the top of the curtain but i'm going to do it along here which is where eventually this fold is going to be but the actual hem will lie across here so it will be visible but not visible to the point where it's so in your face what I'm creating here with this curtain is a casing which will allow the rod to go right through it and then it can just be sort of pulled across and then pulled back again so sorry this is a bit messy so it'll come like that the casing is going to be about three inches thick and that is because I've measured the diameter of my rod and I want it to be three times the diameter of that because with the sheer fabric it's easy for it to sort of slide along and then leave this bit hanging for a little bit of a decorative sort of feature there so it's not just completely bland So as you can see, that bit has been pulled too tight. That's way too tight. But for what I'm doing, I'm going to leave it because it's not going to be too obvious. But why this happens is because the tension was probably too tight, especially for this kind of fabric. So what you want to do is loosen the tension on your sewing machine. I'll let you guys know for free, ironing that hem was not easy. It was not the easiest press that I have done, but it was so, so necessary. So I've now sewn, oh sorry, I've now pressed that edge on the sewing line. And then what I'm gonna do is, okay, first I'm gonna thread my machine. I'm going to sew close to that pressed edge. 